In 3.3, Principles Governing Electron Arrangement or Electron uh, Configuration in Atoms will be discussed and we will look at these three electron filling principles. So if you take a piece of copper and uh, hold it against a Bunsen burner, you will see a green flame. And this is because the electrons inside the copper atoms will absorb the heat energy jump to high energy levels um, and then come back down and as they come back down they release the absorbed energy in green light spectrum energy and that's why you see the flame. So why do they come back down? That's because the high energy level they went to it's unstable because there are other electrons in those subshells in the high energy level that are already filled. So it is not possible to accommodate more than a certain amount of electrons. So these three principles will explain uh, why that is. So um, let's look at stable versus unstable electron states in atoms. Um, electrons are arranged inside atoms in the most stable energy state possible. When they are in their normal positions in energy levels and sublevels and orbitals, they are said to be in their ground state, that is their home base. When an atom absorbs energy, like in that figure I showed you, thermal energy, heat energy, it becomes excited. That means it now has more energy than the ground state. So it has to jump to a quantum or two quantums or more, right, above. And that state is unstable because it violates the three electron filling rules we are going to learn about. So the electron has to j come back down into its home base, releasing that energy um, that it absorbed in the form of electromagnetic radiation and return to its ground state to be more stable. In a different lesson, we will talk about the electromagnetic spectrum. So let's look at these three principles. So the first one, I need you to, um, I gave you a printout of this. You need to paste it here after you write that. So there's the Aufbau principle, you already know this. Then the Pauli exclusion principle and the Hans rule. In the Aufbau principle, it states the lowest energy orbitals must fill elec with electrons first. So if you look at this circled region, the lowest energy orbital in uh, the energy level 2 is S orbital. It has not filled and the higher one P has filled before. So this is incorrect. S must always fill according to the Aufbau electron filling diagram before P. So th this is how uh, you will correct it. You will correct it like this. You will take, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 electrons, right? Two of these electrons will go here like that. And you put the remaining four right that. That is how you correct this one. Let's look at the Pauli exclusion principle. It says no more than two electrons per orbital. You guys already know that. It's like this. And if there are two electrons in an orbital, they're in opposite spins. So they can't be heading the same directions. So look over here. This one is wrong because you have two electrons in the same spin. And the next one, this is wrong because you have three electrons. These two are in the same spin, so they are going to be hating each other. So let's see how you correct that. So for this one, you are going to put this one upside down, and then it's correct. For this one, you have to take this one and put it into the next energy level, right? Which is 3s. Finally, Hun's rule. Uh, in a subshell with multiple orbitals, that means every subshell but S, which has only one orbital, each orbital is filled with one electron in the same spin before doubling up. So this one is wrong because you haven't filled this orbital and this one has doubled. So how you would correct it is like this. Because every electron must be filled before you double up. So say you have four electrons in the P subshell, 
the fourth electron you will write it here in the downward direction if there was a fifth one it will fill here the sixth one will fill here and then the whole thing is completely filled so this is um, a look at a comparison of the three electron filling rules when these are not satisfied the um, it the location of an electron is unstable then the electron has to lose energy and go back to a different um, subshell so let's review electron configuration is the arrangement of electrons in various orbitals electrons are arranged inside atoms in the most stable energy state possible normal position of a given electron is the ground state when you absorb energy um, electrons become excited and move to higher energy orbitals which is unstable so they release the energy and come back down that energy is released as electromagnetic radiation there are three rules that govern electron filling um, orders that is Aufbau principle says the lowest energy orbitals fill first we went over this two lessons ago um, that is the same one with the diagram of the filling order uh, new ones are Pauli and Hans Pauli exclusion principle says you can only have two maximum electrons per orbital and they must be in opposite spins in uh, last Hans rule it says each orbital of a subshell must have a single electron occupied before you double up in any orbital and that's it I will see you in the next video please um, write your notes and do the exit tickets and bell works thank you